Now let's make our snake's body so that each and every time the snake's head collides with the food, the snake's body grows. So let's say by making a list, let's start by making a list, say fractions, since we will be adding small fractions to our snake's body. Say here body, and let's say fractions equals to. Now let's go to our main game loop and under the condition of whether it of the distance between the head and the foot less than 25 that is for the collision. Now we need to create the element that will be adding to adding each and every time to our snake whenever the head collides with the foot. So let's say new equals to total to create a total. Let's say new dot speed zero. New dot shape square. New dot color for now, let's say white and new dot pen up so that it does not draw a line on the screen when it moves. And we want to add this new total to our list each and every time the head collides with the body, so we'll have to say it to append to the list. Alright, so whenever the head collides with the food, you want it to attend. So append with the list, right? List that is fraction. So it's fractions dot append In the bracket will say new. Now, when the head collides with the food for the first time, we want the new fraction to attach itself to the head and follow it on the screen. So we'll say for first fraction if length of fractions is greater than zero then x is equal to the head x coordinate of our head so we'll say h dot x core And y is equal to y coordinate of our head h dot y code and fractions the list fractions the element having zero should go to x comma y so the element having the index zero that is the first fraction should go to the head of the snake. Alright, so the first this code says that. Now on second collision, the length is still positive. The length of the fractions is still positive, but it won't follow this code. Because here we have mentioned only for zero index element, right? Therefore, we will have to write a new code for the fractions having index greater than zero. Now, first I will code, then I will explain what I have written. Right, so let's say for other fraction, we'll be using a loop, we'll be using for loop over here for i in range length fractions minus one comma zero or minus one x coordinate equals to fractions having index i minus one 
dot x code y coordinate equal fraction having a less wait a second i minus one dot y code and it's a fractions index i dot go to x comma y. now let me explain what's this code that i have written over here so we are using for loop and saying i that is i can take any number between the range of length of the fraction that is the length of our list fractions minus one to zero in a decreasing manner right but i cannot take the value zero since we are using the range function all right and in a decreasing manner like five i can take five four three two and one but only till one not zero so now for example let's say we have the length of the fractions is equal to five that means the snake has collided collided five times with the food all right now i will take the values for five length of fraction minus one means four so from four to zero it would be over here on the image you can see this would be like four three two one and this is the first segment that we got from here this code right first fraction that we got from this code over here right yeah so now i will take the values 4 3 2 and 1 then uh, let's say for i equals to 4 the x coordinate will go to fraction having the index 4 minus 1 that is 3 3 is x coordinate that is over here right over here all right and similarly y coordinate also 4 minus 3 that is 3 4 minus 1 that is 3 right so it will go to the fraction having the index 3 so 0 0 don't count the head because we are just counting for the body right so 0 1 2 and 3 so it will go over here and we are at the end we are saying fractions dot 4 that is this to go to x comma y that is ex exactly over here in this location so i will give you another another example let's say i is equal to 3 if i is equal to 3 then it will go to the x coordinate of 3 minus 1 that is 2 which was this one over here and similarly for y coordinate and at the end we are saying fraction dot i that is fraction dot 3 that is the element having the index 3 that is this box over here to go to the fraction having the uh, x and y coordinates of the element of index 2 so similarly from 4 4 3 2 and 1 this is how our body will be made so if the length goes to 6 then it will be 5 4 3 2 1 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 all right so we have made our body and i have i'm sure that i have explained it pretty much well so let's see whether our code runs Okay, so here we see a problem, right? So what's the problem is that our head changes its color when it collides with the first foot. So we have to bring the move function down here, okay? So that that error does not happen. So move. Now let's check whether our code runs or not. All right, it's increasing one. Oh, here it didn't increase, right? The second one, let's check again. First one, and the second one again, it didn't increase. Okay, this could be fixed by simply writing this 
code below this. All right. So if we do this now, now it should work perfectly. One, C, two, and three, four. All right, so it's working. Yep, so you have created the snake's body. So that is it for this video. I hope to see you all in the next part. Until then, enjoy coding.